Mail Gym Automation. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am going to be showing you how you can do automation on MailChimp. I will show you different features that we get in MailChimp for our automations and how does it work. Uh, we will discuss everything in this tutorial. So let's get started. Uh, first, what you have to do is just sign up for your MailChimp. You can actually go with any plan that you want to. I have signed up for the free plan and in the free plan, you will actually get the option of automation. Now, MailChimp is an amazing platform with all of these different features where you can create your own email marketing campaigns. You can do automation, you can create your landing page and there are many integrations as well. So it is is all in one amazing platform which allows you to do a lot with your business or whatever you are doing today we are going to be um, discussing the automations in MailChimp and what you have to do is just come to your dashboard this is the dashboard for MailChimp it is a brand new dashboard that you get after signing up uh, so you will see the option of automation right here with other options as well for example audience campaigns website content studio integrations and search today our topic is automations so in the automations you will actually find these different features these different um, tools and settings for example customer journey transactional emails retargeting ads and postcards and we will discuss these one by one so let's start with retargeting ads because this is the one where you will be working mostly in retargeting ads we can actually do a lot we can actually create our own email and it could be our regular email plain text or template you can actually go with template there are many templates available then we have um, websites landing pages creative assistant and then we can actually create our own service ads facebook ad google remarketing ads, social post and postcard as well. So MailChimp has all of these amazing options. So let me show you that how we can create an email in MailChimp. Uh, so what happens is let's go to templates and let me show you that what are the different templates that are available in MailChimp. So as you can see right here that these are the different templates. If I want to go ahead and go with the template instead of, you know, starting from the scratch, I can go with the template and it will be a little easier for me to create this amazing email of my own so i will just give it a second to load and then we will have our themes and layouts so you can see right here that we have all of these different templates for example sell product template here i can actually create email that is going to be for my selling product email where i can actually add different products and you know the template will revolve around selling my products showcasing my products and then we have tell a story template in which i can actually share my story it will include all the elements according to this uh, layout and template then we have educate uh, then we have all of these different templates and we actually have basic as well without any uh, you know main theme uh, so what can happen is now that I can actually go with any of these templates and work with this one or I can actually go back and start from the scratch for now I am going with a template which is going to be sell product and we will see how it works how we can add create an email in MailChimp in the automations to sell our products. So I will give you an overview because we also have to discuss all of the different uh, features in the automations too. So we will just quickly get a tour around the template. So you can see right here, this is the template that has been, uh, you know, open. This is the template that I selected for selling my products. So now I can do a lot with this template. You can see right here, if I want to change the logo, all I have to do is click on this added option. Then I can change the style. I can uh, change the settings, the context, everything I want to. For example, let's go ahead and so now if I want to add the image, I can just go ahead and do that. Add my default logo. After you have done all the settings, all you have to do is click on save and close then i can choose from all of these different elements for example text boxed text dividers images image group social share and footer code and video so what you have to do is just you simply add these elements to your email and they will be added right here you can add the button you can edit it you can add the pictures for your products you can add the information whatever you want to do it is super simple all you have to do is click on for example example text and you drag it and drop it right here where you want to add the text for example if you want to add a divider what you will do is you will simply drag it and drop it 
right here where you want to add the divider and it will be added so this is how we you can see right here the divider has been added so this is how you add and you can actually then change the settings once you have selected any of the uh, elements you can actually change a lot with this and you simply click on save and close so this is how you can add as many elements as you want to for example you can add logos you can edit your header you can edit your footer uh, you can add your socials you can add whatever elements you want to right and after that there is an option of style in which you get the pages header body footer mobile style and referral badge for example if i go to page i can actually go ahead and check out the view for my page i can edit the settings i can edit the font whatever i want to for example you can change the font from here you can change the page color the size of the text the alignment everything there are a lot of options that you can you know play around and create these amazing emails for uh, yourself for your business and to uh, do your automation after that you can actually add text and images again i can just drag and drop uh, where i want to and you will see this block will be added to my email and then and I can actually edit it out for example what I have to do is click right here and you will see that the editing for this block will come right up here and then I can just you know edit this block from here I can edit the text I can edit uh, the you know if I want to change any text font if I want to change the layout whatever I want to do you will see all of the options right here if I want to edit the text simply click right here and you can just you know backspace and write your text and then you can actually upload the image from here so simply save and close so once your email is you know created you have added all of the elements and you think that your email is looking good then you can simply click on save and exit so when you click on save and exit your template will be saved now name your template uh, this will be the name for your email template your email that you have just created for example for now let's just call it test email there you go and I will simply click on save and it will be saved so now my email is being saved so this is how you create email and then you can do automation for your email campaign for the templates that you have actually created so if i go to retargeting ads let me show you how you can actually create different ads and what are the different ads that you can actually create in mail Gym. so right here you will see that i can actually create all of these different types of ads for example sign up form survey ad facebook and instagram ads google remarketing ad social post so if i go to ads from here i will be able to see all of these different ads create a google remarketing ad let's go with survey and let's see if i can create one there you go so they're asking me to create a survey i can select an audience with the audience they are just asking me to select the business that i have logged in with which is explain the socials and i will click on begin right here and i will be able to create a survey now i can simply add a section right here and i can you know create different for example i am going with check boxes so this way you can add the text right here you just add whatever text you want to add whatever question and then you add different options you can add as many options as you want to for example yes no i don't know and then you can just say none or whatever then you can add another section and it is going to be a radio buttons and what would you like to ask let's just go with did this video help option one can be yes then i can add another option that can be no so after that now i can just add as many sections as i want to so once you have added all the section you can continue to design and when it comes to design then we can do a lot with our survey the questions that we have just uh you know logged in in this um a survey we can actually you know edit them out so these are the two questions right then i can just go ahead and i can add an image if i want to then i can add the custom messaging uh that will be the survey title for example we can call it test survey there you go and i can add a button as well you will see right here the text i am adding right here is being added on this uh you know button right here if i want to you know change the text for example collect or maybe add or you know finish i can just go ahead and add right here so once you are survey is all edited you can just go ahead and review this one or you can just finish it later so i have just clicked on finish later and i am back to my dashboard so this is how you can actually create surveys and create emails with mailchimp it is super 
super easy to use. The more you use it, the more you will get familiar with it and you will have an idea how good the MailChimp is and how many features it actually offers. You can do a lot with your automations and make your business more comfortable and efficient for you. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.